Hello my lovelies, it's Susanna, and today I want to show you how to solve this problem. It was part of an exam in Germany that you have to pass at the end of 10th grade. So let's take a look at it together. In the square ABCD lies the line DEFB. So here we have our square ABCD and through the square we have DEFB. It is given that the length of BF is 8.5 centimeters. So BF is here, that is 8.5. The length of EF is 8.3 centimeters, so EF here is 8.3. The length of AB is 16.7, so that is the length of the side of the square, it's 16.7. And because it is a square, we have 16.7 here as well. And beta 1 is 52 degrees, so this angle here is 52 degrees. EF is parallel to AB, so this line here is parallel to this line here. That's good to know. Calculate the angle delta 1. So this angle here is what we're looking for. So let's take our figure and let's try and figure out how to find the angle delta 1. Okay, delta 1 is up here, but down here we have lots of information about the length of sides and an angle. So I would start down here a little bit more and try to find some lengths and see how we can get up here with some more information. Uh, maybe we start with this line here because it is parallel to this one here. We know that this 8.3 part is here again. So if we draw these line down here and down here, we have this 8.3 part down here as well. And maybe we can find the length of this part here then as well, because now we have a triangle here with an angle and some information. So I think we can figure this out. And then we can also find the length of this one here. And yeah, we get closer to our angle then. Okay, let's try and find the length of this side here. We have a right triangle here and we know an angle, and we know the length of one of the sides. And because this is a right triangle, we can now use sine, cosine, or tangent to find the length of this side here. If you don't know which one to pick, maybe the formula so ka toa helps you there. If we take a look at our triangle, what do we have? Well, we have an angle and we have the length of this side here. This side lies across my right angle, so this is the hypotenuse. So I have H, the hypotenuse here and here. With this information, tangent is out because we don't have enough information for this. Okay, so either sine or cosine. So either the opposite side or the adjacent side. We are now interested in this side here that is adjacent to my angle. So if I call this side x, I want to find the adjacent side. So sine is out as well. And we're going to use cosine of our angle of our 52 degrees and this is the adjacent side so our x over the hypotenuse the 8.5 and now we only have to solve this equation for x let's multiply both sides of the equation by 8.5 to solve for x so here and here as well. 
This cancels out and only x is left. And if you calculate 8.5 times cosine of 52 degrees with your calculator, you get a result of uh, 5.23 for the length of x. So here we have 5.23. Okay, with this information, we can also find the length of this part here because we have the length of the entire side, the 16.7. And we only have to subtract the length of this side and the length of this side to get this small part here. If we do this, we get a result of 3.17. Okay, so this is all we have so far. How does all of this help us now? Well, we're getting closer to our delta here. And this part here is also here again. So if we draw a line here that is parallel to this one here, we know that it is of length 3.17. And like this, we created a right triangle here as well. We don't have enough information yet, though, to find our angle. We only know the length of this side here, but maybe we can find out the length of this side here as well. Um, not yet with the information we have, but if we had the length of this side here, then, because we know the length of the entire side, we could also find this length here. So where do we find this green length again? Well, here, for example, or also here again in this right triangle. If I call the length of this side B, we can use sine, cosine, or tangent again to find the length of this side. So so, ka, toa can help us again. We have the hypotenuse still that lies across our right angle. So hypotenuse is there and there, tangent is still out. And this time we want to find the side that lies across my angle. So the opposite side this time, opposite here, cosine is out. We are going to use sine this time. So, sine of my angle 52 degrees equals opposite side, opposite of my angle is B, over the hypotenuse, that is still 8.5. To solve for B, we do the same thing. We multiply both sides of the equation by 8.5. This cancels out and we get a result for b. If we multiply these two with our calculator, we get a result of 6.7 for our b. So this is of length 6.7, which means that this part is of length 6.7, which means that this length here is the entire side, 16.7 minus 6.7, which equals 10. A nice number. Uh, so, with this information now, we are ready to find delta 1. Is it sine, cosine, or tangent? So, ka, toa. This time, we don't have the hypotenuse, by the way. So sine is out, cosine is out, tangent is what is left. Tangent of my delta one angle equals the opposite side, so across my angle, 3.17 over the adjacent side, so this side here, equals 10. This time we want to solve for the angle delta 1. And to do this, we have to get rid of this tangent here. And to get rid of it, we have to apply the inverse tangent function on both sides of the equation. The inverse tangent function is tangent raised to the power of negative 1. 
If we apply this on the left side, this cancels out and only delta 1 is left. But we also have to apply it on the right side, so tangent raised to the power of negative 1 of the entire right side. So we just write everything down here. And now you just type this thing into your calculator and we get a result for delta 1 of 17.6 degrees and we solved this problem. I'm curious how you solved it, so please let me know in the comments. I wish you a wonderful day and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care!